Hello Capricorn, welcome to your love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you or your connection in love. As always, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate 100% with every Capricorn watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, and check out your other placements if you want to see more messages. I have all of the signs um, linked in the description box. So let's jump right in, spirits, angels, guides. What's going on for Capricorn in love? What's going on for Capricorn in love? Wow, we have love letter. A special message is on its way. What else? What else is going on for Capricorn in love? What else is going on for them? Burning passion. The chemistry is off the charts. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have hidden motives. Someone's hiding their true motives. And then we have sweet dreams. So there's some sort of illusion here. Maybe some sort of um, something that may appear a bit better than it really is. Or um, some sort of fantasy situation here i feel like someone's on their best behavior or appearing a certain way here and i think it's because they're working on some sort of attraction or trying to attract something so we'll see we'll see what that means when we clarify because so i'm going to be clarifying each of these energies separately what else can you tell us for capricorn spirit what messages guidance do you have for capricorn for Capricorn. Sensitive, responsive, and perceptive. Bottom of the deck, we have Scorpio, ruled by Pluto, so the death card. And then sensitive, perceptive, responsive. I feel like someone's really in their feelings here. I'm going to have to clarify that a little bit further, but that's what I'm getting. It's like very emotional, but I'm not sure why. So let's see using the modern day tarot, the modern way tarot. All of the decks that I use are linked in the description box. Spirit guidance, clarity please for Capricorn. Keep seeing this ton of swords when I shuffle. Okay, let's look at this love letter. Why is love letter here, spirit? Why is love letter here? What's this? The chariot, cancer energy. Why is the love letter energy here? What can you tell us about this love letter energy? For Capricorn. The five of cups. bottom of the deck the ace of cups and then the nine of cups after that again this sensitive energy this ace of cups I'm getting a lot of emotions here and then it's almost like the emotions are tied to the past or a loss here with the five of cups I'll clarify more with my little clarifier deck could be dealing with a cancer someone with cancer in their chart the chariot is a, a card about movement direction headed towards success it's like someone wants to move past what happened because of love okay we'll see what that means in a minute tell me about burning passion why is burning passion here why is burning passion here? Page of Cups. Why is burning passion here? Ace of Cups, yeah. This is like, um, there's a lot, a lot of feelings here. <laughs> like I keep saying. I'm sounding like a broken record, but it's there for a reason. I'm picking up this energy for a reason. 
the magician and the four of pentacles i feel like there's a reason for for these emotions so it's almost like this energy of someone who is um there is a, a goal but why why is that tell me about sensitive why is the sensitive energy here number 11 why is the sensitive energy here the empress why is the sensitive energy here why is the sensitive energy here two of wands five of swords nine of cups yeah someone has a goal a desire a wish but with the five of swords and the five of cups there's conflict or um a challenge here i'm going to clarify all of these further with my little clarifier deck here now this page of cups this could be an apology i feel like this empress has to make a decision clarity please for capricorn regarding these energies spirit what insight can you give me here for capricorn there's the nine of cups again you see the nine of cups hmm tell me about the chariot with this five of cups here tell me about the chariot Hmm. Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the chariot with the Five of Cups. Why is the chariot here? The Devil Reverse. There you are, Capricorn. Five of Wands Reverse. Yeah, I feel like someone wants to to heal something or fix something here. There's regrets. Two of Wands. Two of Wands Reverse. Justice. Um. Libra energy with justice. I feel like someone wants to fix something, possibly a broken commitment here. I got infidelity for some of you. Some of you, this person was not faithful or um, lost your trust in some way. What happened here, Capricorn? I'm getting this energy of like, you're not really... Um, well, the devil is reversed. So I'm almost getting like, this is you and you're not happy. Even though that's not what this card really means when it's reversed. Can I get some insight into this devil reverse? Seven of swords reverse. Yeah. So I feel like you, um, you could have caught someone doing something they shouldn't have or seen someone um, in a new way here. Now with the four of pentacles reverse, it's almost like I feel like you're letting go of this. And there's the five of pentacles, the lovers, and then the six of cups, Gemini energy. So I'm almost picking up like someone was shut out by you. And now they want to talk. Um, maybe this was a soulmate because these two cards could be um, very strong soulmate energy here. Um, this could be a past person. You could be dealing with a Gemini. But I'm almost getting like um, someone's feeling regretful, I feel, but wants to move past this. Like they, um, they're they coming in with this page of pentacles and I feel this page of cups with this ace of cups. Tell me about this page of cups and ace of cups. Tell me about this page of cups and ace of cups. The lovers, again. Tell me about this page of cups and ace of cups. Nine of Wands reverse. Tell me about this Page of Cups and Ace of Cups. Hmm. 
the world reverse. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that doesn't want something to completely end here. And I'm also getting, wow, Ace of Cups reverse, Four of Wands reverse, Eight of Swords, Five of Cups. Yeah, this is someone that's not dealing well. With it. There's regret here over heartbreak or disappointment. I feel like this is someone that, um, there's a Knight of Wands. This is someone that um, is almost hoping for an opportunity, a chance here to make things right before it's too late. But the Nine of Wands is reversed. I feel like you might not trust this person or you are no longer willing to fight for this perhaps, Capricorn. Tell me about this um, Nine of Wands reverse. King of Wands. King of Pentacles. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like they're going to sh they're going to show up with their best behavior, I feel. They're going to try to show up as this king of pentacles even though what they really have to offer is a page of pentacles. What I see here is pages, right? But they're showing up as kings, 10 of wands, 5 of um no, I'm sorry, 5 of cups and then the 8 of swords again. So I don't know what's going on here, but Someone doesn't want this to end between you. Perhaps there wasn't closure in this connection because the world reverse could be a card about a lack of closure. Something is not fully closed out. And so maybe they're hoping they have a chance here. Seven of Pentacles reverse. There's the Knight of Wands. I knew the Knight of Wands showed up for a reason. Ace of Wands reverse and Eight of Wands. Is this someone that wants to move in quickly here with the Knight of Wands, Eight of Wands? Could be this burning passion. Someone's really motivated. And there's death reversed. Scorpio energy. Another card about resisting ending, resisting and uh, a change here. Someone I feel does not want things to end. I'm getting this energy. Um, and I feel like they wanna, they're going to talk to you about this. Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles. I, I am also picturing someone coming to you with tears. Like, like they're going to really, the waterworks will be there. <laughs> um, I don't mean to laugh at this person. I just think this person is that desperate. It's kind of the energy I'm getting. Can I get um, some insight here into this five of swords? Why is the five of swords here? Four of cups reverse. Why is the five of swords here? King of swords reverse. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so the Five of Swords, King of Swords, Reverse, I'm getting deception. Someone must have deceived you in some way or presented themselves as something they weren't. Um, they did this because of fear of rejection or because they didn't want to be, um, I feel, left behind. Queen of Wands, Reverse, The Fool. Yikes, I'm getting that you're pissed. Capricorn and didn't you have a, re a reading like this check your playlist um, I have it linked in the description box because there was a reading there where you were like done and I think in the title I put something like you're done or you're so over this or something like that I feel it's this very similar energy but with the eight of Pentacles it's almost like they want to come to you and say I'm willing to work on this tell me about this two of wands why is the two of wands here Why is the Two of Wands here? High Priestess. Two of Cups. I want all of these. Two of Wands, Reverse, and Justice. See, this High Priestess card is making me think of the Hidden Motives card here. Oh, and then there's the Five of Swords again, exactly. There's something a bit off here about this. And I think your intuition is probably trying to tell you this. Um, justice, Libra energy. Um, I feel like this is someone that's very focused in making this right. This They screwed up and they're focused on making this right maybe because they realize that you are their person. Now they're scared to lose you, but it might be too late. 
Ten of Pentacles reversed. I feel like they could have broken a commitment or broken your trust. I feel like this person would have to do a lot to win you back or to win back your trust. Because with the chariot reverse here, it's almost like you're ready. You put a stop to this or you went in a whole different direction here. Or perhaps this is what this person fears. Tell me about this Empress. Tell me about this Empress. Ten of Cups. Six of Cups. Yeah. Um, you are a prize here. Ten of um, Wands. What I got is um, I don't want to give up. Even if the situation feels hopeless, Aquarius energy with the star, even if I'm losing faith or hope or there's a lot of healing that needs to take place here. Yeah, um, it would take a lot, I feel, for this person to um, win you back. So let's get some insight into this person. Tell me if that's resonating for you in the comments, Capricorn. Um, if it is, check out that reading I did um, a few weeks ago because I feel this is very similar energy. Three of Swords, Five of Swords. Wow. Spirit, Angels, Guides. Can I get some insight into this person that Capricorn is dealing with? Can I get some insight into this person that Capricorn is dealing with? What do we need to know about them? The fool. What do we need to know about this person that Capricorn is deal dealing with spirit? What do we need to know about this person? Yeah, Page of Cups. This person wants a, a fresh start, a clean slate. Um, I don't think you, you know what to do about this. There's a Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And the Ace of Wands. And then the Five of Swords. Yeah. And then the Three of Swords. Yeah. There's a reason I saw that. Five of Wands after that. Holy crap. I feel like in your mind or in your, your, your thought processes, more of the same. More of the same. I'm also getting that the problem, the real conflict is not being addressed. It's almost like this person doesn't really want to focus on that too much. And there could be a reason why. You know, maybe they're... Their pride or they're ashamed and they don't want to, you know, put a spotlight on how badly they screwed up or how bad they feel. I feel like this person is going to be sincere in their, um, their emotional offer. Uh, I think that's what's going to make you kind of pause a little bit and be like, eh, should I, should I? Give them another shot. Um, but I feel like a lot of you are kind of thinking already that this is it. Maybe you gave them too many chances or something like that, up to you. Um, I could tell you in this reading here that this is someone that's willing to take a risk and open their feelings here. Confess or you know, be very sensitive, vulnerable is what I'm picking up, that this person it desperately wants this. And so they're w willing to, I, I guess, look foolish is also what I'm picking up here. So let's see. What's next? What's next for this connection? What's next for this connection between Capricorn and this other person's spirit? What's next? What's next for this connection? What's next for this connection? between Capricorn and this person. King of Swords. What's next? What's next for this connection? The moon, Pisces energy. Yeah, I feel like if in, in your, in, in communication, I feel is going to be about the illusion or the secrets or the whatever was is is hidden or not clear i feel like you're interested in the truth in clarity in honesty what's next pisces energy with the moon the tower wow so this could be um a revelation here 
because I have the moon, the tower, the king of swords. Um, it's almost like I'm getting like an investigator energy with this king of swords, like someone getting to the bottom of something here. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? I don't know if this person is going to come secretly to talk to you. I see that as well. Like in the dead of night. <laughs> um, like you're not expecting this possibly. Why is the tower here? I feel like they want to take you by surprise. Maybe because you're so perceptive or astute. What, what's this? Two of swords and the nine of wands. Yeah, because I feel like you're very guarded. Again, you don't trust this person or I feel like you're very wary about this person's true intentions. Tell me about the tower. Why is the tower here? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Why is the tower here? Four of Swords. So um, a lot of um, healing energy, quiet energy. Yeah, the Hermit, Virgo energy quiet energy um by that i mean it's it's this is opposite of the tower basically both of these energies temperance and four of swords uh the temperance is a card about harmony the tower is not a card about harmony and and the temperance is about balance definitely not the tower the tower's whole goal is to pretty much shake a foundation so there is no more balance um, Four of Swords is quiet. The tower is an eruption. So to me, this is very interesting. Why are these two energies together? Why is the Temperance and Four of Swords with the tower? Can I get one more? Tell me about the tower. Eight of Wands. So it's, I feel communication. I feel what's going to happen is, wow, I feel like this is someone disrupting harmony, healing, and quiet. Someone's going to come in with an offer. Wow. And then there's the Five of Wands with the Knight of Wands. I think this person's going to come in loud, like hot. They're coming in hot. They don't care what they disrupt, basically. Because, again, it's almost like a desperation. And, it, it, you know... This Eight of Wands, I feel like it's almost like someone's minding their own business, quietly doing their own thing. <laughs> and then this Eight of Wands comes in with this tower, some sort of communication or action that is, I feel, disruptive. Look at this Five of Wands here. Like everybody starts talking about it or multiple people are involved or the other person's kind of like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh because I know that, you know, some of you are really dealing with something um serious but yeah there's judgment like this is loud so i feel like this is someone that's coming in hot and they might take you by surprise just because of the force of it oh i put the eight of wands back that was my bad just pretend the eight of wands is here <laughs> tell me about this moon why is the moon here why is my moon kind of like why is the moon here What's this moon about? Six of Cups. Eight of Cups. The Hermit again. All similar colors too. Like they all go together here. Again, I feel like this is someone that was that, that was far from you or left or you you withdrew into quietness once again i am just getting this energy of someone kind of withdrawn and almost like recollecting themselves rebuilding themselves focusing on themselves i feel like someone walked away from a past energy or a past person tell me about the moon Tell me about the moon. King of Wands. Tell 
Tell me about the moon. Seven of Swords. So again, I'm getting someone that's almost like coming to disrupt. This is someone that's like, I don't know. I really hope they're not coming to like mess with your chi. <laughs> you know what I mean? I I just get this this energy of, I don't know. It's almost like... um. like uninvited this person i feel an uninvited energy tell me if i'm picking up on that correctly capricorn in the comments i'm still not picking up that i feel like um two people are not on the same page okay so two people are not on the same page no matter how you flip this this energy you know feel free to flip the roles but i feel like there's there's someone here that i feel has to come in unannounced for a reason knight of cups yeah they're coming in with an offer of some sort they're not coming empty-handed i could tell you that but at the same time i'm still getting this energy of tower moment you know unexpected disruption tell me about the king of swords why is the king of swords here three of swords why is the King of Swords here? Ace of Swords. Wow, this is very difficult communication. Tell me about the King of Swords. This could be talking about heartbreak, disappointment, the Magician. Ten of Wands came out again. This Ten of Wands, I feel like someone's been carrying this inside and they're like exploding. Um, with the, it's almost like the magician is is someone's energy. This I feel like this Knight of Wands energy with the magician as well. The King of Wands here. Um, it's almost like someone wants to make something happen because they can't no longer carry this burden. Um, I don't know if this is regret. I don't know if this is guilt. I don't know if this is just baggage, emotional baggage, because again, I feel like someone is very, the feelings are just a heaviness here with feelings, emotions. I don't think this is going to be an easy communication or an easy conversation here. I feel like there might be, I don't know, a little bit of harshness, especially with the King of Swords. They're not emotional. So once again, I don't, I feel like there's like two op, like opposite energies. You know, here we have someone very sensitive. Um, and then I have the King of Swords on the other side. Can I get one more for this King of Swords? Ace of Wands and the Lovers. Yeah, this is somebody that wants to talk to you about, I guess, having peace and harmony again. And there's the Two of Wands. So I feel like you're going to be debating this within yourself. If you want this new beginning, if you can trust this person's intentions, etc. Okay, Capricorn, this is already becoming a long reading, so I'm going to leave it there. Hopefully this um, reading brought clarity or insight or resonated with you. If it did or you just want to say hello, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you enjoyed the reading and want to see more readings from me, then hit the like button, subscribe. And thank you so much for all of your support and for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.